Hey, hey, it's um, Friday. I'm on my way to, I don't want to call it a grocery store because it's not like a, like a big grocery store, I don't think. I've never actually been here before. It's like a produce market type place. I wanted to check it out for a while. It's kind of far away. I mean, it's like a half an hour. I found this recipe that uses Romanesco, which I've never had before. It's a veggie, if you don't know. It's like um, kind of like broccoli and cauliflower. And so I've been like keeping an eye out for it. And I saw that they have it. That's my main thing I want to get, but I'm just gonna, you know, gonna check out what they have in general. Okay. <laughs> it's really great out. Got this chocolate bar. They got a lot of like fancy chocolate there. I got these just because they sound good right now. Um, they're called Philly muffins. They're like square English muffin made with like cornmeal. I got the everything flavor that sounded kind of good. I got a couple ice creams. I got this one, cold brew coffee, and then chip witch. I also got this juice. It's pineapple, sage, and cranberry. That sounded really good. The Romanesco's in there. I'll show you it later. I don't want to pull it out. It's kind of like bulky. I don't want to spill it in the car. Spooky. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? So I want to make focaccia bread because I found a recipe that seems pretty simple. It like doesn't require you to knead the bread at all. Um, I'll link it below. So I have to start it today. It's like a a two-stepper like a two-day thing because it has to rise for you know up to 24 hours but it's pretty simple you just like mix everything mix like the yeast and the water some honey let it sit for a second and then stir in the flour and salt and then you put it in a bowl covered in like olive oil and then let it sit in the fridge and then yeah that's all i gotta do today so no Seems like a lot of olive oil. It said four tablespoons, but okay, I think I coated it for the most part. Now I just cover it and cheat it for a whole day. Okay, Brad, have fun. Okay, it's Sunday. I did a like a spine and posture workshop, um, like an online workshop this morning. I'm going to go continue the focaccia. I have to like put it into like the pan now and then let it rise some more but i wanted to update you on the fungus gnat situation so <laughs> i mentioned last week that we have gnats around the plants and i got a couple things to kind of use on them so first thing is these just like little sticky traps to catch the adults yeah this one has some but then some of them don't really have any so like these two so they kind of worked um i also heard that you can use a combo of water, dish soap, and apple cider vinegar to catch them. And it looks like I caught a couple. This is actually the second bowl I put out. So the first bowl caught a few more. It's a good like DIY. The other thing was this mosquito bit stuff, which you can sprinkle on the soil and then when you water it like travels down. I think that like takes longer for it to, you know, travel down. So I had just like soaked some of this in water and like, you know, one day and then the next day, whichever plants I needed to water, I would use it, that water to water them. I tried not to like get the little bits in the soil though, because I had heard that they can get like moldy. I didn't really do that very well because I think some of them got into the soil because this one plant, I'll show you. Like there, looks kind of like fuzzy, you know? Anyway, I haven't actually watered all the plants yet, cause just because some of them didn't need to be watered yet. So I'll just continue watering with that, like, mosquito bits water for like the next like week or two. Hopefully that solves everything. And we honestly haven't had as many gnats around this week. I mean, there's been a few, but like, I probably see like no more than like one or two a day, which is less than like last weekend. So fingers crossed that, that what I'm doing is working. Okay, I'm gonna go work on the focaccia.
Big boy. I'm supposed to flip him. So it says to let it rise somewhere like warm. For how long? Like one and a half to four hours. I can hear it. <laughs> I'm playing the piano, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this app is like hopefully more. Looks pretty good. Putting the bird bubble up to Cook rotating skillet periodically for even browning until dark brown underneath about five minutes.